What is up everybody? Crypto Noah, aka your favorite blockchain entrepreneur, back with another super, super fire video. Today we're going to be talking about Radiant Capital. So we're going to be talking about a brand new update that they're launching that is literally going to change the entire landscape of DeFi. Uh, and at the end, we're going to be doing a very, very realistic price prediction. So I know in the title it says 100x potential, but it's actually more like a 300x. And I say that very, very conservatively, and I'm going to show you exactly why. So before we get into it, I would ask you to strongly consider hitting the like, comment, subscribe, as we're going to be dropping some of the most fire crypto book reviews and day in the life content on the entire internet. So let's get right into it. So what is Radiant? I actually made an in-depth video on Radiant. Just click the description and click the link to that video. But for those of you who don't know, Radiant is put simply a cross-chain money market. And a money market is kind of like a bank. It allows everyday people like you and I to deposit funds and get a yield and also take out loans using our crypto or stable coins as collateral. But the difference with Radiant is that they are using Stargate's Layer Zero technology, which is a technology that allows different blockchains to talk to each other. So they're doing, they're the first omni-chain money market. They allow you to deposit and borrow across different blockchains. So this is their Medium article that just came out August 24th, and today's the 25th, I'm covering it. I read it late last night. So I'm not gonna read the entire thing and I'll drop a link to this uh, in the description, but I just wanna go over a few things. So their V2 launch is they are launching Radiant on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's go over this. V2 of Radiant will allow for depositing and borrowing on any major chain seamlessly with a robust cross-chain protocol fee sharing mechanism. We are quite focused on growing the mind share and daily active users interacting with RDNT, that's the Radiant token, and we believe that the BNB chain provides us a great opportunity to do so. Most of the TVL, which is total value lock, is passive earning below 2% APR. So that means of all of the protocols on the Binance smart chain, on average, people are earning less than 2% APR. We all know that inflation is around 8.1% according to the last CPI. If you watch any of my other videos, you know the CPI isn't the real inflation data. It's probably double that. So that's what they're talking about here. Getting back into it, and it has no opportunity to earn protocol fees through existing money markets. We think we can capture a large piece of the market and are getting close to public release. And the test net is over underway. Okay, so right now Radiant is built on top of Arbitrum, and Arbitrum's TVL has been increasing because you know Arbitrum is VC backed, so everyone's expecting a Arbitrum token. So to increase their chances of getting a token, people are farming and just doing all kinds of things, deploying smart contracts on Arbitrum, which is part of the reason why they built on Arbitrum, but everyone isn't on Arbitrum. So the goal is to build a product that people can use on multiple different blockchains so they can be able to de deposit collateral and take out loans. And that's really, really important because just like the internet, we don't use one browser. Everyone doesn't use Google. Everyone doesn't use Safari. Everyone doesn't use uh, Internet Explorer. There are different browsers that people use and there are also gonna be different blockchains people use. So you are kind of shooting yourself in your own foot if you only operate on one chain. And that's why their goal is to be omnichain. So getting back into it here, it says, most DeFi protocols falter due to high front-loaded emissions and lack of token utility, which attract mercenary. They're trying to attract missionary capital and non-sticky TVL. We are looking to better calibrate our radiant token emissions in order to one, continue to give RDNT best in-class APRs compared to any other money markets, and two, be flexible and responsive to fluctuation in token price. So I wanna talk about something here. So they're trying to they're trying to incentivize a sticky TVL, meaning a lot of these pro call, protocols will launch a token and have super high APRs. People will come farm them, and then when those emissions and incentives go away, everyone heads out. And me personally, I'm a mercenary farmer as well. Like I'm not gonna be romantic about these protocols and just keep farming because I love the protocols. Like no, I have a fiduciary responsibility to make the most money in the safest way for me and for my investors. So if I see something somewhere else, I'm gonna go. So they're trying to get people to stay around. So within DeFi and you can also say traditional finance as well or TradFi, there is three ways to make money within the financial system. Borrowing and lending fees, swap fees, and insurance premiums. Everything else that happens within DeFi is pure token inflation. So when you're yield farm, you wanna make sure that your APR or your APY is outpacing the token inflation. If not, you're just losing purchasing power, AKA losing money. So what's to say that, you know, once they stop paying people to take out loans, like I talked about in my other videos, people are just gonna leave. This is one of the biggest things 
about Radiant that no other DeFi protocol is doing. They are the only money market where you're actually getting a piece of the revenue from the protocol. Aave isn't doing that. Celsius didn't do it, even though they weren't DeFi. Compound isn't doing it. Urine Finance isn't doing it. Like no other protocol allows you to share the revenue that the protocol makes. Okay, and just to give you guys proof, come over here and let me show you. So this is my dashboard on Radiant, and you're earning revenue not in just the Radiant tokens, but you're you're earning revenue in stablecoins, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And as you can see, I've made three hundred and forty-seven dollars so far off of staking almost five thousand dollars at an APR of six hundred and twelve percent. If I lock it, once it's locked for twenty-eight days, I'm still earning whatever the APR is, and this is. I've seen as low as 250% and as high as like 800%. As long after the lock period is over, I can leave it there and still earn that APR. But if I want to withdraw it and take some profits, I can do that. So on Aave, once you take out a loan or you borrow, like people have to pay on those loans. But Aave just keeping all the money for themselves and for their DAO. Like, yeah, they, they may be doing stuff for marketing and doing things to benefit their users indirectly, but Radiant, they're sharing their protocol with you, allowing you to benefit directly, not indirectly. So I have a huge incentive to take out loans here versus Aave and Compound and you know their competitors because I know that by me and other people paying off their loans, I'm getting a piece of that revenue. So even if the, cause the interest rates for a borrowing and lending are determined by supply and demand, even if the price to borrow is a little bit higher, I can look at the APR and go, hey, I can earn this much and actually offset that. So it's gonna attract sticky capital. You know, I've been yield farming since 2020 and this is the only platform where I have outstanding loans on right now because of this simple fact. Like I'm literally getting, not only getting paid to borrow, but I'm making a percentage of the protocol fees because I choose to lock my radiant. So getting back into this here, like I was just talking to you about, for the first time in DeFi history, protocol fees earned on each chain will be possible to be shared with lockers of Radiant. Our in-state vision for Radiant was always that it could benefit from the activity on all chains. So by them going on different chains, we're gonna get to benefit from activity that's happening on all chains, even if we're just on one. That's incredible. Okay, it says here Lock and Radiant currently provides some of the best APRs of blue chip, um, pretty much blue chip asset, assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDC, USDT, DAI, across DeFi, consistently exceeding 100% APR. And like I just said, I haven't seen it below like 200, 250% APR. This will only improve as Radiant decreases emission, begins to pull more TVL and interest in uh, Arbitrum Odyssey which is what they're doing to incentivize people to, you know, operate on Arbitrum. So this is the thing. Normally in DeFi, the higher the TVL, the lower the APR. But with them, it's the opposite because they're actually sharing the revenue. So as they go across multiple blockchains and people are borrowing across these different chains and there more people are paying off their loans, it's going to increase the APR. The APR isn't being increased by token inflation. That is an incredible thing. Going back to this, this is another thing I like about the team. You know, everyone makes mistakes, but it's how you handle it. You know, you don't try to just sweep it under the rug. And they were transparent, and they said that all of our contracts have been verified at Genesis Block with security. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, what happened was there was some confusion around like there were supposed to be, I think it was 28, uh, 25 million dollars in tokens that wasn't supposed to be put to use for after a month. And then they went and changed it on the docs, you know, whatever, whatever. But they're addressing it here. The confusion regarding the Radiant tokenomics and specifically the team allocation could have been easily averted with better upfront communication. We apologize for our miscommunications, promptly fixed the time lock and verification issues in the days post launch, and have learned our lesson with respect to communication and transparency. So basically, what they did was. $25 million worth of Radiant token. I don't remember what point they did it at or what the price was. Could have between eight to, I'm guessing 12 cents. That is locked forever. And that's Radiant that cannot be dumped onto the market, which was which means price won't have as hard a time going up. Now I'm gonna to get to like probably the second most important thing, their incentives. I'm gonna read this here. We are incredibly proud of the fact that the team's financial incentives are in full alignment with the success of the protocol. By making the recent decision to permanently lock millions in USD value, 25 million to be exact, worth of team tokens, a significant percentage of our salaries now comes directly from protocol revenue. If we fail in generating cross-chain interest, then we don't get paid nor reimbursed for the money spent to launch and operate Radiant. This is really good because 
Once incentives are aligned, I think it's easier for the protocol to be able to flourish. So given that they lock $25 million worth of Radiant tokens, just because they locked them doesn't mean they're not making money. They're still making the rewards from locking their Radiant tokens because like I just showed you, they're getting 600% APR right now. So if they don't have people borrowing and lending, yeah, they have $25 million in locked tokens. They can't, they can't sell it though. So if they don't have people actually doing things on the protocol to generate revenue, they're not making any money. So they have every incentive to make this protocol as good as they can because that's how their salaries are getting paid. Another important thing, so in the video I talked about how they had two smart contract audits, one from Peck Shield, one from Solidly, which are very reputable uh, auditing firms. Another thing that I really liked here, it says, finally, we will be implementing a contract bug bounty as a third layer of safety in tandem with our two existing audits by Peck Shield and Solidly Finance. So they're saying to people, hey, come and see if it's a bug in our code because we want to fix it and we'll pay you versus just waiting for something to happen. I love when project founders are proactive. So now for everyone's favorite part, the price prediction. And why do I see this project potentially doing 100X? And before I go into this, this is not financial advice. Consult with your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. This is for your education purposes only. Always do your own research. So if we come over here to CoinGecko, we can see that the market cap is 2.6 million. Now, normally I will go off the fully diluted valuation, but I just told you guys that they locked $25 million worth of Radiant tokens forever. So you know, it kind of doesn't have as much of an effect. So let's look at their competitors because to say they can 100X, you want to be able to have some kind of benchmark or because they are competing with Aave and Compound. Like you want to see where their competitors are and how much market share that they can potentially take away from them. So if we go to borrowing and lending, we can see that you got Aave number one with a market cap of 1.3 billion. Maker, Celsius, I'm it's crazy they even have a market cap still. Kava, Compound, you know, the list goes on and on. And if we look at Radiant, we can see it's ranked 1,461. I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be in the top 50 when the next bull market comes. And the last bull rally, we didn't see DeFi tokens get their claim to fame. So I think DeFi tokens are going to rally in the next bull market. It's a lot of projects right now that's just developing, but they haven't launched because market conditions aren't to their liking. So once the bull market comes on, we're going to see a lot of products being shipped. So getting back into it, if Radiant were to just get to a $1 billion market cap, which is a baby in crypto. I mean, that is super small. We saw Ave get up to a $5 billion market cap. So I'm just saying, hey, what if Radiant gets to $1 billion market cap? That is where Ave is at right now, approximately. Not too much to ask. So let's do some math here. So if we pull out our calculator, in order for Let's just say they do 100x. If Radiant were to do 100x, right now the price is at 9 cents. 0.9 times 100 gets them a price of $90, and that will get them a market cap of just 300 million. So to just 100x, they have to just get to 300 a $300 million market cap. That is so 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 small, and we can see that Ave has a market cap of 1.3 billion right now in a bear market. So if we're in a bull market, and this is the only protocol that's sharing revenue with borrowers and lenders, what incentive do people have to take out loans on Aave versus Radiant? I mean, it's just common sense to me. So now let's see what would they have to do in order to get to $1 billion market cap, which I think is totally doable. So right now they're nine cents that will have to they will have to do a 333x so 9 cents times 333 that would mean we will see a $300 radiant token price and that would put us at a 1 billion dollar market cap now if it does a 100x that's enough to turn every $1000 into $100,000 but if it does a 333x that's enough to turn $1000 into $333,000 that is an insane return and me and my investors are going to eat that from this protocol. So with that, I'd like to conclude this video. Hopefully you learned a lot from this. Hopefully you can see the potential in it. If not, tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your feedback. Tell me your strategy. If you want to know my strategy for how I'm taking advantage of Radiant, accumulate more Radiant, as well as using it to short Bitcoin and Ethereum, hit the YouTube video and the link in the description where I did a deep dive and I went over all that stuff. Other than that, I would strongly ask you again to like, comment, subscribe as it really helps the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel from zero and bootstrap it and just give the best value I can to the world using my gifts and my skills. So with that, I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.